two flips. And the weirdest thing happened to me. I did what in gymnastics is called a three-point landing. You guys ever heard of that one? It's two kneecaps and a head. <laughs> Yeah. This guy's name is Brian Meeker, and he's getting ready to go for the vault. He's running down the runway. Oh. Oh. Like I said, Brian's okay, and he's a personal friend. These are the six people that were on the 84 gymnastics team, my teammates here. That's Tim Daggett, Scott Johnson, that's me in the center, Jim Hartung, Peter Vidmar, and Bart Connor. And I want to tell you something. We got inducted into the Olympic Hall of Fame a few years back. And it was really kind of a reunion for us to go over the old stories and everything else. We got a chance to visit. Each and every one of us, when we got up to the microphone and we had our chance to talk to the audience, we all said the exact same thing. It wasn't the individual effort that meant anything to us. It was the team effort. If you ask a lot of the Olympic athletes, I know Greg Luganis was actually quoted as saying, you know, being up on the podium was not a surprise to him. He had visualized it thousands of times before it actually happened. And that's a common thing. The art of visualization and the mastery of visualization is one of those things that we need to really educate kids on and teach kids how to do and really have that in your mindset each and every day. It's amazing how powerful the mind can be when you visualize your goal, your completion of your goal, and actually making it happen. Here he goes. Oh! That is somebody who was not focusing on where he should be focusing. He was looking at the end of the vault instead of at the, the beep board. That haunted me. I'm in the Olympic Games right now, ready for the, you know, the biggest vault of my life, and I've got this wipeout image in my head of Brian Meeker. But this is what I'm saying. It's actually a great lesson because this happens to everybody at various points in life where we have these negative thoughts that run through our head. And you have to have the ability to refocus. Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Coach John Wooden. I actually was at a speech one time where Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was being interviewed on stage uh, by the MC, and they asked Kareem, what was the greatest thing Coach John Wooden ever taught you? And I started thinking through my head, wow, I wonder what he's going to say. I, I was sure it was something technical, basketball related, obviously. And he took the longest time to pause, and he said, the greatest thing Coach ever taught all of us was the value and importance of preparation and training and preparing yourself for competition. It was never about the competition. It was always about becoming more of a human being, becoming a better person through the practice and the training and the habits that he instilled in them day in and day out. I want to encourage all of you to think about the five keys that I talked about and how you could apply and influence and make a difference in other people's lives and to have purpose and passion in what you do. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't want to miss over there. Thanks. Always. <laughs>